It probably would make sense maybe to cover a couple of libraries that are not that uh, popular and that are uh, not that widely used as pandas, numpy and so far are used. You can use B calls and everything is done on the hook by, by uh, ODO, ODO, I don't actually know how they pronounce it. I can, for example, here um, use, uh, it's not data blending, that is actually data transformation. Uh, use the technology here to transform a CSV data set in a vCalls object. So this is a way of vCalls, what we have covered before. Um, and I see this is easily achieved here. I'm using a mixture of approaches. So I'm operating on ND array objects, but I'm implementing everything that I'm doing based on loops, based on pure Python loops. So this is something that you typically wouldn't do. You say, well, NumPy and NumPy, Python and Python. But here I do the mixture and uh, what I have in mind here is indeed to apply beneficially number later on to this uh, particular implementation. And in the end it's kind of the constellation between the two trends that is set to tell you something about, um, about whether to invest or not. So the idea obviously is that if the short-term trend crosses the long-term trend from below, this is a buy signal and here it looks sensible and if it crosses uh, it from above, this is a sell signal. This is the while loop similar to what we had before. Here we generate, so to say, the, uh, uh, the input where we start with um, and the, uh, the nouns, you see it here, is packed into this whole structure. And what's happening here, once we have generated this as a, as a C struct, you see the double uh, SHA hash first here in between, parslip SHA, the header, parslip SHA, this is the outer one, and this is digested, and this is digested, and then we compare the, uh, the resulting hash code to our target string.